Hello everybody, and welcome back to Star Ocean, the second story. Last episode, we had Selene join us. A treasure hunting mage, because why not, I guess. Um, and she has a treasure map for Cross Cave that might lead us to something useful. So let's head on over there. Cross Cave, as we, I, we saw, but I didn't note on our way to Mars, is right up here. Here's the enemy. Oh, these are actually a new enemy. Um, there's Press. Like, there it is. These are Alarains. They're mandrakes, basically. I'm just not going to use any spells. Um, they're, they're not really worth it. <laughs> this is Cross Cave. Now, one of the first things we want to do here is head this way. Behind? When did they... Oh, back attack. I'm used to there being a stun timer there. Um... You'll notice Selene did about 30 not, well, 36 damage to those Alorains, but dealt 75 to these knights. Enemies have elemental weaknesses. That is part of what spectacles are used for. If I had a few more of them and more money this early in the game, I'd be identifying enemies because I don't remember elemental weaknesses. Um, and I suppose I should probably show what these are, and I could probably just more quickly do it by... Yeah, these are armored knights. Oh, armed knights. And all spectacles well. 180 HP, no MP, Thunder weak point. Yeah, I'm being a terrible healer. Claude doesn't exactly need healing right now, though. That is one thing to note, though. Once you hit the button for a command, whoops, uh, once you hit the button for a command, that's what you're doing. So it's generally not recommended to continue fighting with Rena for much longer, if you've even been doing it now. Um, actually, wonder. Uh, Celine's equipment. We're actually gonna take these off of Celine. Um, she doesn't really need accessories, and slight spoiler: she's not gonna be part of our party. Here are, well, I believe, our fellworms. No, nope, landworms. Okay, fellworms come later. I'm not gonna spectacles them because I, I should, as much as he doesn't really need it, I should do a quad. I should also switch to quad because the AI is a bit dumb. Um, it'll get itself surrounded a lot. Um, Stay in the level and get seven skill points. It's not bad. Need to cure poison. It well cures poison. The enemy looks like I must. More landworms. I'll just stay on Rena for now. Never mind. Ow. Yeah, that's something to note. The AI will heal once you've lost about a fourth of your HP. A fourth or a half. That's when the AI decides to start healing. Which is why I personally play healers most of the time. Because I can see a character's about to be hit and start casting the spell. So I'll generally get it off faster than the AI would. The enemy. Better be careful. I believe also if we hold down the square button, we can just always see the full battle. Which is 
is a nice little thing. Now, I actually, I just, actually just remembered, Claude has a speciality now. He has Air Slash. So let's give it to him. Might as well let him work on it. It's not a great killer move, but it's something. Down doesn't lead anywhere, I don't think. I don't remember it leading anywhere. So, This place is pretty full of treasure. For being an explored cave, um, there's a lot of treasure around. Here's the enemy. Be careful. Yeah, we have another new enemy that I'm actually going to use press on because I just feel like it. It's a slime! You know, this plot isn't using air slash. There he goes using it. Um, he effectively fires out a very slow moving projectile. Gives him a long range option. It's not great, but it exists. Mystery material. Well, mineral, I'd say. This way, there should be more stuff. A Kosso sign. Hmm. Here's the enemy. Better be careful. Air slash. Now, right there, you just saw what air slash does at range. It does that up close. That is what the long range, the short long and short range thing is. It de it changes how killer moves function for the most part. Some killer moves don't care about range. They do the same thing no matter what range they're at. Those are generally the killer moves you'll probably end up using. Because ones that are great in short range are generally not great long range. Ooh, some stink gel, a battle item. Work out. He usually says, I think. Yeah, it's a thing that poisons an enemy we attack. Mandrakes are just, well. Air slash. Yeah, you, you can probably tell how bad Air Slash is. Um, we'll get much better killer moves for Claude later. We have a full score with this. Here we get some sweet syrup, which is a recovery item. A rather good recovery item, that. Um, now I think we want to head down here. Behind? When did they? Now who got the kill? It was Claude. Did he kill steals? A lot. <laughs> you head down this way and to the right. And to the right again. Yes. Here we get a tri ball, another battle item. And a magic canvas, which will become relevant later. It's a crafting item, basically. No choice. I remember to, uh, sorry about yawning there. I have to remember to hold down square in battle. Um, I did it. Sling gained level and learned Ray, which it will be one of her better spells for quite a while. I think I might just so I'm doing more in battle. Um, mission. I'll use Selene for a bit because we're not gonna use we're not gonna see mages that often. So, well, battle mages that is. So we may as well use her while we've got her. Be 
careful. I have no choice. Now, to use Ray. Yes, it costs 10 MP. But it hits everything. And I'll just let Claude finish them off, just to conserve some mana. Because yeah, he can. Yes. Learn Deep Mist, which is a debuff, I believe. Hmm, looks like a dead end. It, it's a dead end. Uh, is this the wrong place? All I can see is that huge boulder. This is very strange. According to the map, the treasure room is supposed to be just ahead. Per perhaps it's a fake? That, that, that can't be. By the way, Rena, sweetheart. Y yes. I see you can cast a recovery spell. Am I right? How do you get to do that? Well, I, I really don't understand myself. Uh, I was able to use it before I understood anything about it. In the heraldic arts, there, there is no such thing as recovery. Oh, that's right. What a bore! It was supposed to. It was such an expensive map. Shall we look for another path? Hmm. Let's see. Celine, before we do that, can you show me the map? Isn't there something small written? Uh, something small written? Right here. Something about a spell? Why, you're right, Claude, darling. It's faint and hard to read, but it really is. There really is something written here. Should we do as it says? I'll try it right away. Bright flash of light. And the path is open now! Oh, sorry. I had to yawn again. There's a path! I guess there is, Claude. We've done it! Yes, we have, Celine. Let's go on. <laughs> Thank you, Rina, for being the voice of reason. Now, this is a bit preemptive, but I am actually going to save here save over this one, which is my backup save for last episode. Because uh, coming up is an optional boss fight that I don't want to skip, but has the distinct possibility of crushing us. Um... Okay, I only have two blackberries. Bugger. Um, well, I'll restore Celine's MP a bit, because she's going to need it. And now I'm not going to use any MP here. Heads up. Claude has to beat these on his own. Oh, Rena. <laughs> I can't afford to switch to Claude right now.
We have a full score with this. The blueberry ink quad gains a level. He's shooting stars. Hooray! A better thing for him, but he has no MP left. So I'll wait to give it to him. Um, well, it's better than Air Slash. It's still not his best thing. And this, we get 700 full. Be careful. Better be careful. Air Slash! Air Slash! Quad. 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 Beat you with my stick, arm knight. Ow. Like the blueberry. I might actually use one of those. Uh, I don't know. Um, this is the boss fight. I think. Or no. Uh, no, I know which chest is the boss fight. I think. Um, this is what we're after. We found it. I really hope it doesn't teleport me out. I forget if it does or not. You mean this? What is this, really? Probably the ancient writings. What does it say? It's no good. I can't read it all myself. Well, I, yeah, I can't read it all myself. There's no other. There's no other way than to go back to the village where I was born and ask the elder there. Or ask a linguist scholar. Indeed. Okay, good. Um, I think it's that chest, to be honest. Some heart fairies. And a green barrel. Now, you want to be ready for this if you decide to go at this. Um, I want to start by new because I forget what these do. Ah, okay. It's the thing that helps learn mental science. Everyone already has it. So that's just sellable at this point. Um, use some blueberries to heal everyone up a bit. Oh no, there's nothing inside this treasure box. Now this has the regular battle theme, because these are regular enemies from much later in the game. And they do not react well to Ray. I will note, however, they could probably, if they both teamed up, melt Claude in seconds. But I still have a spectacle. Um, Probably, and I've just missed it. Uh, yes, yes, I do. Very well, 1500 HP. And they're weak to light, strong against dark. Ray is light magic. Yep, Claude's. Blood's dead. Um, do I maybe have? Yes. Okay. <laughs> if I didn't, this is probably about to go very badly. Um, one down. Nothing left, so I'll just last Thunderbolt. Now over to Rena. Um <laughs> see what this does. Yeah, that isn't gonna help at all. Um There we go. 333 experience and 1700 full. And a reverse doll. 
That is the best thing you can get from these. You can possibly get two of them, and it's amazing. Level, Claude gets a level, Celine gets a level, everyone gets a level. Um, now, the reverse doll, I'm giving it to Claude. It's a mysterious doll that takes the place of its owner when the owner's life is in danger. It also has elemental resistance to everything and gives a boost to guts, which is your crit rate. And it's a fairly hefty boost. Crit is also a stat, but guts is basically... There's a guts critical and a crit critical. They are two different things. Guts criticals are easier to get and don't deal quite as much damage. Um, think of it kind of like... Um, a critical hit as opposed to a super effective attack in Pokemon. Only it's guts and then actual crit. Now, I'm gonna save again over my uh, off thing here. Um, don't want to mess up now. And of course, Claude's gonna waste his MP. Um, there's a Guts crit. Guts crits also tend to stun. Actually, looking at the time, we'll leave Cross Cave next time. We're at 22 minutes, basically. So, I thank you all very much for watching, and I hope to see you again next time for more Let's Play Star Ocean. See you all then!